Hello! Are you planning to take the architecture licensure exam? Well, you are at the right channel. Welcome to Audio Review. A refresher video for on-the-go people, where we will have tons of activities and drills to help you prepare. Before we start, please note that we accept concerns and questions, so don't hesitate to comment down below. We will also be giving away free review materials soon. Mechanics will be posted or you can email us at audioreview.yt at gmail.com. For today's topic, we will be taking up building technology. Are you ready to identify the building materials and methods of construction? Let us start. Question 1. A clay which have been subjected to high pressure until they become relatively hard. A. Shale. B. Fire clay. C. Brick. D. Stone. The answer? It's A. Shale. Shale. A clay which have been subjected to high pressure until they become relatively hard. Shale. Question 2. A term used to describe a wooden member built up of several layers of wood whose grain directions are all substantially parallel and held together with glue as fastening. A. Glue laminated timber. B. Seasoning. C. Compressed timber. D. Sawn lumber. The answer? It's A. Glue laminated timber. Glue laminated timber. A term used to describe a wooden member built up of several layers of wood whose grain directions are all substantially parallel and held together with glue as fastening. Glue laminated timber. Question 3. A lustrous white, soft and malleable metal having a low melting point, relatively unaffected by exposure to air, used for making alloys and solder and encoding sheet metal. A. Lead. B. Tar. C. Tin. D. Bitumen. The answer? It's C. Tin. Tin. A lustrous white, soft and malleable metal having a low melting point, relatively unaffected by exposure to air, used for making alloys and solder and encoding sheet metal. Tin. Question 4. A hard, brittle inorganic substance, ordinarily transparent or translucent, produced by melting a mixture of silica, a flux, and a stabilizer. A. Glass. B. Bitumen. C. Tar. D. Lead. The answer? It's A. Glass. Glass. A hard, brittle inorganic substance, ordinarily transparent or translucent, produced by melting a mixture of silica, a flux, and a stabilizer. Glass. Question 5. A mixture consisting of vehicles or binders, with or without coloring pigments, adjusted and diluted with correct amounts and types of additives and thinners, which when applied on a surface, forms an adherent continuous film. A. Varnish. B. Paint. C. Shellac. D. Enamels. The answer? It's B. Paint. Paint. A mixture consisting of vehicles or binders, with or without coloring pigments, adjusted and diluted with correct amounts and types of additives and thinners, which when applied on a surface, forms an adherent continuous film. Paint. Question 6. A door having styles, rail, and sometimes muntins, which form one or more frames around recessed thinner panels. A. Flush door. B. Roll-up door. C. Accordion door. D. Panel door. The answer? It's D. Panel door. Panel door. A door having styles, rail, and sometimes muntins, which form one or more frames around recessed thinner panels. Panel door. Question 7. Hardware such as hinges and catches that has a finished appearance as well as function, especially that used with doors, windows, and cabinets, may be considered part of the decorative treatment of a room or building. A. Rough hardware. B. Finishing hardware. C. Smooth hardware. D. Fittings. The answer? It's B. Finishing hardware. Finishing hardware. Hardware such as hinges and catches that has a finished appearance as well as function, especially the use with doors, windows, and cabinets, may be considered part of the decorative treatment of a room or building. Finishing hardware. 
Question 8. Materials used to apply color to wood surfaces. They are intended to impart color without concealing or obscuring the grain and not to prove protective coating. A. Lacquers. B. Sealers. C. Stains. D. Tinting color. The answer? It's C. Stains. Stains. Materials used to apply color to wood surfaces. They are intended to impart color without concealing or obscuring the grain and not to prove protective coating. Stains. Question 9 Finishing materials which are used on wood surfaces, particularly those with open grain, to fill pores and provide a perfect smooth, uniform surface for varnish or lacquer. A. Fillers. B. Sealers. C. Lacquers. D. Putty. The answer? It's A. Fillers. Fillers. Finishing materials which are used on wood surfaces, particularly those with open grain, to fill pores and provide a perfect smooth, uniform surface for varnish or lacquer. Fillers. Question 10. The only liquid protective coating containing a resin of animal origin. It is an exudation of the lac insect of India and Southeast Asia, deposited on the branches of the tree. A. Varnish. B. Enamel. C. Shellac. D. Thor Seal. The answer? It's C. Shellac. Shellac. The only liquid protective coating containing a resin of animal origin. It is an exudation of the lac insect of India and Southeast Asia, deposited on the branches of the tree. Shellac. Question 11. A wall board having a gypsum core. A. Straw board. B. Paper board. C. Gypsum board. D. Chalk board. The answer? It's C. Gypsum board. Gypsum board. A wall board having a gypsum core. Gypsum board. Question 12. A hardboard made of compressed wheat straw, processed at 250 to 400 degree Fahrenheit and covered with a tough craft paper. Is it A. Straw board. B. Paper board. C. Gypsum board. Or D. Chalk board. The answer? It's A. Straw board. Straw board. A hardboard made of compressed wheat straw, processed at 250 to 400 degree Fahrenheit and covered with a tough craft paper. Straw board. Question 13. Made by bonding together thin layers of wood in a way that the grain of each layer is at right angles to the grain of each adjacent layer. A. Ply board. B. Particle board. C. Plywood. D. Hardboard. The answer? It's C. Plywood. Plywood. Made by bonding together thin layers of wood in a way that the grain of each layer is at right angles to the grain of each adjacent layer. Plywood. Question 14. Deciduous trees that have broad leaves which are normally shed in the winter time. A. Hardwoods. B. Softwoods. C. Yard lumber. D. Shop lumber. The answer? It's A. Hardwoods. Hardwoods. Deciduous trees that have broad leaves which are normally shed in the winter time. Hardwoods. Question 15. It is used for ordinary light construction and finishing works and consists of 1 and 2 inches material manufactured into common boards, shiplap, shelving dimension lumber and molding of all kinds. A. Hardwoods. B. Softwoods. C. Yard lumber. D. Shop lumber. The answer? It's C. Yard lumber. Yard lumber. It is used for ordinary light construction and finishing works and consists of 1 and 2 inches material manufactured into common boards, shiplap, shelving dimension lumber and molding of all kinds. Yard lumber. Question 16. Which of the following is true about structural lumber? A. Intended for use in heavy construction. B. It is made from the hardwood of the log. C. Both A and B. D. None of the above. 
The answer? It's C. Both A and B. Remember that structural lumber is intended for use in heavy construction and it is made from the hardwood of the log. Hardwood, also called duramen, dead, central wood of trees. Hardwood is mechanically strong. Question 17. A class of rock composed of cemented silica grains. A. Argillite. B. Granite. C. Marble. D. Sandstone. The answer? It's D. Sandstone. Sandstone. A class of rock composed of cemented silica grains. Sandstone. Question 18. It is formed by metamorphosis of clays and shales deposited in layers. A. Slate rock. B. Serpentine. C. Marble. D. Granite. The answer? It's A. Slate rock. Slate rock. It is formed by metamorphosis of clays and shales deposited in layers. Slate rock. Question 19. A metamorphic rock, one that has been changed from its original structure. Limestone and dolomite have been recrystallized to form this. A. Slate rock. B. Serpentine. C. Marble. D. Granite. The answer? It's C. Marble. Marble. A metamorphic rock, one that has been changed from its original structure. Limestone and dolomite have been recrystallized to form this. Marble. Question 20. Igneous origin and composed of quartz, field spar, home blend, and mica. It is generally very hard, strong, durable, and capable of taking high polish. A. Granite. B. Quartz. C. Solid surface. D. Marble. The answer? It's A. Granite. Granite. Igneous origin and composed of quartz, field spar, home blend, and mica. It is generally very hard, strong, durable, and capable of taking high polish. Granite. Break time. How was your score? Have you passed? If you have any concerns, questions, and suggestions, please leave your comments or you can email us at audioreview.yd at gmail.com. Part 2 will be on the next video. Link will be posted soon so don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell to be updated. Good luck!